live studio audience at Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios Orlando, Florida. Nick Gas is brought to you by Burton Snowboards. Why aren't you riding? the golf club hidden in this picture then you can win a run through the prize filled house where what you find is what you keep on finders keepers and now here's the host of finders keepers the man with the hidden talent wesley And welcome to Finders Keepers, the show where every room is a rec room. Let's say hi to our blue team. We have Rusty and Elena. Welcome to the show. <laughs> and keeping up the red spot today is Chris and Carrie. Welcome. <laughs> All right, before we start playing, let's go over the rules real quickly. In our hidden pictures round, being first to correctly circle what's hidden will get you 25 bucks and earn you the right to search a room. Or if you can find that hidden object, we'll give you 50 bucks. But remember, if you can't find the object, the 50 bucks goes to the other team, and it's the team with the most money that goes in that wild room to room search at the end for some great prizes. Let's get right to the first hidden picture today. We call this feeling kind of down in the mouth. <laughs> Looks pretty scary to me. This is worth. $25, and we're playing for the right to search the jungle. Go ahead. Walk all over me. See if I care. Red team, circle. The doormat is correct for $25. <laughs> the red team has earned the right to search the jungle. Lots of things hidden up there. We're going to move on to another clue, and we'll be playing for the beach. I swallowed this thing in one big bite. Blue team. Hot dog. It gave me gas, and I passed it all night. The hot dog is correct. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you like that clue at home? <laughs> we have the weirdest writers on this show. But the most important thing is we have a tie score. Both teams have $25. Both teams have earned the right to search two rooms of the house. We have two more rooms up for grabs. Now we're playing for mom and dad's room. Go back to the hidden picture. Rudolph's antlers were... Red team. Santa hat. Rudolph's antlers were freezing, so he asked Mr. Claus if he could borrow this. The Santa hat is correct. <laughs> Carrie, how did you figure that out so fast? Well, I saw the hat. And the Rudolph this is from Rudolph, you got it? Yeah. That's really good. I, I thought somebody, I didn't know if anybody would get that one or not. I thought it was pretty hard. You've earned the right to search mom and dad's room, and we have one more room which we're going to be playing for, and that's the closet. Remember, the closet's a pretty difficult room. Let's go right to the hidden picture. It's also worth $25. I got the blues for you, baby. Blue team. Cane. That is incorrect. I'm going to read the entire clue for the red team, then they'll have three seconds in which to circle. Playing for the closet. I got the blues for you, baby. And I'm going to blow those blues away. What is it, Red Team? Trumpet. That is incorrect. Oh. We were looking. Can you see what we're looking for at home? No. In the audience? What do you see? Harmonica. Harmonica. That's it. One guy right there in the front row. I see the computer or something. All right, so that was a harmonica. That means that all the room's been played for. We, and look at the scores. Wait, let's. Nobody's, oh, nobody's got that. I'm sorry. Wait, what we're going to do is going to add another clue and play for the closet. Since nobody got that, scores will remain the same. Red team has $50. Blue team has $25. Here we go. This is excuse for not doing homework number 56. I twisted 12 ligaments. I can't even walk without this. Blue team, circle. The, the thing on the bottom of the chair. That is not correct. The red team knows I'm... Why? You guys know it? Yeah. 
What is it? It's the cane, all right. You twist the leg, you need to walk with the cane. That means that the blue team has $25. The red team has $75. Blue team's gonna be searching the beach. The red team will be searching the jungle, mom's dad, and the closet. Come on, let's trash that house. While we get set to search and destroy, here are the first three prizes you can win in our room room. Academy Broadway products designed for carefree outdoor fun, featuring this machine washable water repellent nylon sleeping bag and heavy duty nylon travel pack from Academy Broadway. And in our second room is our Unitron telescope. Coated lenses and hardwood floor tripod will allow the young explorer to conquer heaven and earth with a turn of the eyepiece. And in our third room, we have Lasonic's portable double cassette component system, 14 watt peak music power, three band graphic equalizer, and double deck dubbing furnished by Lasonic. Back to you, Wesley. Chris and Carrie, you've earned the right to be here in this humid tropical jungle. Now listen, Chris, normally you're not in jungles though when you play. You're up in the ski slopes, right? Yes. Tell me, you like ski, right? Yes, yeah, my second season. You pretty good? Beginner. Beginner? Yeah. And Carrie, Basketball. Yeah, I like, didn't like it a lot, but then I still played for Nottingham, and I really like it now. What, what, what makes you like it now? I don't know, I just like it better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, better. let's see. Let's hope you like Finders Keepers. Do you like that right. show? Yeah. Be careful. Strange creatures are here. You never know what's in these jungles. Things are moving around. Snakes, bugs, monkeys. Something's hidden here. You're going to have 30 seconds. If you can find that object, you'll get 50 bucks. If you don't find the object, you know what happens, don't you? Yeah, it goes to the other team. You don't want that to happen, do you? No. Nah. All right, here we go. This is a funky mission. When we say locomotive, do we mean a crazy reason for doing something or the first car of a train? You figure it out. Ready to go? Find it for $50, locomotion. Where can locomotion be? It's worth $50. He's found it. It is the train. Not locomotion, crazy reason for doing something. It means we add 50 bucks to the red teams. They have 125. Blue team has 25. But the blue team now gets to search the beach. Ah, here we go. From the jungle to the beach. How are you? Hi, Rusty, Elena. Hello. Now listen, you're a jazz dancer, I hear. Well, I've only been taking lessons for two months, but I really enjoy it. What's your best move? I don't know. <laughs> Do you work with a bar, putting your legs up on those things? Yeah, sometimes, when yeah. we do exercises, yeah. I bet you're going to be a good dancer. And I do. And Rusty, you're a hockey player, huh? Yeah. We're, my team in uh, Maple Shade is in the championships, but we were in last place. What's the name of your team? Uh, Maple Leafs. Maple Leafs. Good luck on this. Now we're going to see how well you do here in our beach scene. Lots of things. Things could be under the sand anywhere in this hot, hot sun here. Third, this is, uh, you're going to have 30 seconds worth 50 bucks. And here is the clue. The dentist was going to drill my cavity. If he used this, <laughs> it would be depravity. Ready to go? Find it, 50 bucks. Drill, where can they drill my cavity? Looking inside everything, there they go. Rusty Lana, she's looking. They found it, it's the drill for $50. Good game going, come here right here. You guys now have 75 bucks. The red team has 125. They're beating you by the price of one room, 50 bucks. Good finding. That was real quick. Do you, do you like going to the dentist? No, thank you. <laughs> oh, I don't know about you, but every time the dentist gets close to my mouth, that eh. <laughs> no, thank you. What we're going to do now is go to mom and dad's room and join the red team. Here we go. Mom and dad's room. They found it. You guys are ahead by 50 bucks. So if you can find this object, you'll stay in the lead. If you don't find it, we're going to have a tie score. Now look at all the places. Mom and dad were having breakfast in bed today. Do you ever make your mom and dad breakfast? No. <laughs> do you? Yeah. Okay. You, do you? You take it to bed? I mean, breakfast in bed and stuff? Sometimes. What, like for a special occasion? <laughs> what, what occasion? Um, I can't remember. It was a while ago. A couple like years. Mom, da mom's, um, Mother's Day? My mom's. Yeah, my mom's birthday. birthday. He's a nice guy. You, not such a good kid. I can't cook. <laughs> <laughs> microwave. You ever heard microwave? Yeah. All right, here we go now. Finders Keepers headline. Kids eat five ice cream sundaes. This tops them all. Ready to go? Find it. What tops an ice cream sundae? There they go. Come on, Chris and Carrie are looking all over the place. They'll be able to find something. Into the drawers. Oh, look. Chris knows how to play Finders Keepers. He's going, he's going. 
There he goes, they're inside all the drawers. He found a camera, that's not the answer. What do you put on top of ice cream sundaes? Into the... Did it buy? Come on, Chris. Oh! And it fell, you know what? It was in the drawer, you knocked it right out, and it was the... Hershey's chocolate syrup. But that means the 50 bucks goes to the red team, and we have a tie score. Both teams have $125. And you guys have earned the right to go in the closet, so follow me. <laughs> this, this closet can be pr pretty tricky on finders keepers. Now, here's the way it stands. We've got a tie score. If you can find it, you go in the lead. If you don't find it, the blue team will go into the lead at the end of our first hidden pictures round. Here is the clue. How come I feel so all alone whenever I play my slide blank? You know what we're looking for? Trombone. Let's see. Find it! $50. There they go. They're going through everything. He's looking. There he goes. Chris is looking behind this. He's found it! The trombone for $50. Good for you. You found that pretty quickly. That means that you guys go into the lead at $175. Blue team has 125, but don't go away, because when we return, hidden pictures are worth $75. We have an instant prize in one of those rooms, and the rooms are going to be worth $100. So you know these scores are going to start to flip flop. It's going to be a great day on Finders Keepers. We'll see you in a few minutes. Bye bye. You are watching. Oh, it's going to be close. Nick Gas. Hey, Giza Sports fans, get ready for another Nick Gas timeout. This time out, we're playing along with pro soccer star Mike Petke. What's up, soccer fans? It's time for some trivia. We all know how big soccer is around the globe. So tell me, which country won the most World Cup? Is it A, Italy? Is it B, Brazil? C, Argentina? Or D, the United States? Anything? Anything yet? Come on, guys, nothing yet. All right, guys, time's up. Let's see how you did. So did you say the US of A? Unfortunately, the USA has yet to win a World Cup, but the future's looking bright. What about Argentina? Uh-uh. Well, then you probably said Italy, right? Wrong again. Well, that only leaves one answer, Brazil. That's right, no one has dominated the World Cup quite like the mighty Brazilians. Including 2002, they've won the World Cup five times. Now, if you knew that, then you know your soccer trivia. Hey, get back in the game. We'll see you next time out. Hey guys, I'm pro tennis player Maria Sharapova, and today I'm going to hit the court for some practice with my dad. Forehands, backhands, serves, volleys, you name it. It's time to get to work. I always feel like something's missing when my dad is not around. <laughs> He's a great motivator out there and he helps me a lot with everything. My stroke is not working, he helps tune it up with some technique stuff. I want the same speed. Split of second late, even on this one, on the short. He sees my game very well. Go, 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 go. He knows what I play like. No, 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 no. He helps me a lot and he's a great supporter, so, you know, it's wonderful to have him. <laughs> Okay, guys, it's been a ball. Keep watching Nick Gas. And he sees my game very well. My name is Cody, and my sport is football. When the crowd's roaring, they're in the fourth quarter, tie game, and there's like 20 seconds left. The quarterback's hands would be all sweaty. If I was in that situation, I would be scared too, but I would just let it be. Stay calm and make it happen. What's up, I'm Nadine from Nick Gas, and this is the pro sport of snowboarding. We 
all know the jumps and the half pipe aren't the only places you can find pro boarders. Magazines, TV shows, films, endorsements. Pro boarders are valued for their image as well as their ability. And we all know you work your hiney off on the half pipe. But what else do you have to do to promote or project an image as a professional boarder? Um, there, there's a whole lot that goes along with being a professional athlete. But um, when you look at it in terms of that, it's what I love to do. And, and it's, it's great that I have a job doing that, that you can never complain. We all have to you know, work very hard on the slopes and off, such as doing interviews like I'm doing right now. On the off days of snowboarding, I'll have to go out with a photographer or something and shoot some lifestyles. I think somebody looks at a magazine and gets inspired, you know, it's like, wow, that's, that's really cool. People are really going for it. Snowboarding is all about image. It's everything from music to fashion to style. While you're doing that kind of stuff, you know, you want to just project yourself like with a good image and, you know, have a good attitude that kids want to like look up to you. It's very important for us that the kids pick up on it because it's the kids are going to be the future of the sport. And I remember just a couple years ago, like it was yesterday, like me looking up to all these guys yeah, and now I'm, now I'm shredding with them and good friends with them. It's pretty rad for sure. What's real or what's just image, who's to say? However you use snowboarding to express yourself is the only image that really matters. From Nadine and for more on snowboarding, keep it right here on the gas. Now back to our hidden treasure. Finders Keepers. Glad you joined us for the second half. Now remember, hidden pictures are worth $75. The rooms are worth $100. And one of the four remaining rooms has today's instant prize. We'll see which team can earn the right to search that room. Look at the scores here. Red team's the lead by, at $175 by $50. Bucks. Blue team's got $125. It's a good game. The good news is they're playing well. The bad news is we're going to make them clean up the house. <laughs> no, we wouldn't do that. We've got crews here to help us with that. Let's get right to the next hidden picture. We call this... Portrait of a Royal Pain in the Palace. It's worth $75, and we're going to be playing for the bathroom. If you sneeze into a piece of pie, red team, Hi. you might wind up with cheese in your eye. The piece of pizza is correct for $75. <laughs> At pizza pie. <laughs> We got the best writer sneezing into a piece of pie. Well, all right. Now we're going to be playing for the living room. <laughs> Some irons smooth out your wrinkled clothes, but this iron smooths out your putts. Blue team. This, this thing right here. That is incorrect. I'm going to read it again for the red team. Then they'll have three seconds when I finish the clue. Some irons smooth out your wrinkled clothes, but this iron smooths out your putts. Red team, do you see it? What do you putt with? Oh, you buzzed in. Did you see it, though? Yeah. Where was it, do you think? It's, um, the golf club or something. Well, okay. is that it? That would have been it, but that's not. But you were too late, so that means nobody has earned the right to search the living room, and we'll move on to another clue. So you saw it at home. It was the golf club. I was having trouble accepting my weight gain. This helped me adjust. Blue the team. Banana. The what? The banana. The banana is incorrect. I'm going to read it. You guys are anticipating a little too fast. Red team gets to hear the entire clue. They'll have three seconds. I was having trouble accepting my weight gain. This helped me adjust. My belt, that is. My belt. Red team, circle quickly. The buckle. The buckle you were in time is correct for another $75. <laughs> and the rest is for living room. Oh now we're going to be playing for Granny's Kitchen. With all those bikini-clad babes at the beach. Red team. The ball. I figured I'd have a ball, not this kind of ball, and that ball is correct for $75 and the right to search trainers. <laughs> Red team is going really fast. Blue team, you got to get in there. We have one more room up for grabs. Dad's den. Your bicycle is safe. Red Lock. team. The lock. Is safe with me. Uh, just don't throw away the key. That is correct, $75. <laughs> 
Red team has 475. Red team, you really made a sweep of this. You're going to be searching all four rooms. Blue team, I knew you know the answer. You couldn't get in there fast enough. But remember, blue team, you're not out of it. Because each room is worth $100. Every time the red team doesn't find a room, the blue team gets the $100. So it's still anybody's game. Come on, let's go trash our house. While Wesley breaks into the house, here are the prizes for the final three rooms in our room romp. Toys R Us, the world's biggest and best toy store, is the favorite place to go with thousands of toys and tons of fun in every aisle from Toys R Us. Magna Mountain Bikes, more power to climb and accelerate. Magna, the hot new name on the streets, distributed by Dynacraft Industries. And in room five, the Magnavox Portable Compact Disc Player. This is room six, have you, which goes where you go. Has AM, FM, stereo, radio, cassette player, recorder from Magnavox. Now back to you, Wesley. Chris and Carrie, we're in the bathroom. You guys played that last hidden pictures round great. You have all four rooms to search. Good playing. That was very fast. You took some risk. I hey. thought they were going to get a couple of them, but uh -huh. they didn't find it. Anyway, we're back to you. Here we go. $100. <laughs> you like the bubbles here? You never know what's going to be lurking in these cabinets. The, the, everything could be booby-trapped. We'll find out. Here we go. What the baseball player was going after when he got caught stealing. Ready to go? Wait, you wait a second. Ready to go? Find it. All right, for $100. What are we looking for? There he's going through the little hamper. There goes Chris. He's looking. He found the base. He got caught stealing the base. And you got caught stealing $100 from us because we had 100 You have 575 Blue team has 125 And you guys are now going to be searching the living room. Come on. Chris and Kara, you guys are just too good at this game. We're going to have to hide everything a little harder. Nah. No, no you like Instant Prize Room. Your magical vacation is at the beautiful Howard Johnson Resort at the Walt Disney Village in the Magical Kingdom at Epcot Center on your doorstep. Oh All right, we're talking a trip to Disney World. If you can, you, you have to find this object to get that trip and add $100 to your score. You must find it. Here is the clue. This is, have you ever been there to Disney World? No. Have you? Yeah. You like it? Uh -huh. Want to go back? Yeah. Now we'll see if you get to go. If a bird got caught in a lawnmower, <laughs> Oh, no. If a bird got caught in a lawnmower, <laughs> would you have shredded tweet? <laughs> are we joking or are we cereal? Box of cereal, shredded wheat. We'll see if we can find it. Ready to go? Find it for $50 or $100 in the trip. He is tearing up this. There goes Chris. He is destroying it. This, they want this trip to Disney World. Where's that shredded wheat? Go fast. This is for the big trip. Chris has never been. Time is running out. We're looking for a box of shredded wheat. They are destroying this living room. No, oh, it's not there, guys. It was right here, just sitting right. Here was the shredded wheat. That means we add $100 to the blue team. They have 225 and you guys don't get to go to the Magic Kingdom. But you, have a, you get to go to the kitchen because you get to search another room. Come on. Of all the time not to find something, right? I know. That's OK. You guys have got a lot of money. You've got a chance for a lot more big prizes here. We're in the kitchen. <laughs> well, looks like we're doing our laundry here again. Yes, sirree. <laughs> My brother is such a pest. When he goes to the zoo, the monkeys throw these at him. Peanuts. Peanuts? Well, I don't know. We'll yeah. see. Let's find it. Find it for $100. They think it's, oh, things are exploding. Peanut. They're going through this thing. Oh, everything. What do the monkeys throw at him? We're looking for, what do monkeys eat? There they go and come on, Chris and Carrie, trying to earn another hundred dollars. They're looking for everything they can. Do you know what monkeys eat? Oh, guys, monkeys eat. Look right here. Oh. Monkeys eat bananas. Just sitting right here. That means the blue team has another hundred dollars. They have three twenty-five. You guys have five to seventy-five. We're gonna go search. The dad's den. Here we go. Last room worth one hundred dollars. Dad wanted to know if I was first in anything at school. I told him I was first out of the door when this rings. 
Ready to go? Find it for $100. What rings? What tells you when school is out? Chris and Carrie, they're going through everything. They want to add another $100 to their score. Uh, they're playing this game well. They are destroying Dad's Den. They're all working on one side of that house, though. They found it. It is the bells when this ring school is out. Chris and Carrie, we had another hundred dollars. You have six seventy-five. Blue team has three twenty-five. You are today's champion. You'll be going to that big room to room rob. But as you know. No one leaves finders keepers empty handed, so the blue team will be splitting that money and also they'll be taking home these consolation prizes. Every contestant on today's show gets the official finders keepers home game, yours from Cardinal Industries. Conair, a world leader in personal care appliances and consumer electronics, brings you innovative, high quality products to beautify and simplify your life. Back to you, Wesley. Carrie and Chris are our champions. Our house is your house. You know the rules. Audience, tell them the path they'll be trashing. Here's your first clue. We're in the bathroom, and the clue is cap off your shower with this. Ready to go? Find it. Cap off your shower with this. They got it. We're going to the kitchen. Got the first clue. Where? Buffy says, Buffy says, love it like there's something baked in this. Like something okay. baked in this. Okay. Baked in the okay. oven. Okay. She's got it. Okay. Go to the jungle. We're now going for the portable stereo. They've gotten two prizes. What is it? Poisonous tree. This tree dot bark definitely worse than bite. Look for the tree bark. Tree bark, tree bark. Okay, keep hey. looking quickly. It'll be hanging there. This is worth the portable stereo. Oh, come on. High and low. Look high and low. Oh. Having a little trouble here, Carrie and Chris. You guys can find it. Can you see it at home? You did great. Bob, tell me, Joe, tell me what they've won. You've won cash and prizes worth over $1,900. Back to you, Wesley. Bye-bye. We'll see you next time on Finders Keepers. All Finders Keepers contestants wear Converse kid shoes, including the exciting new Connoisseur collection. Track down a connoisseur from Converse. And don't look it up, punch it up with Franklin's amazing word whiz. It instantly corrects the spelling of 80,000 words by Merriam-Webster and plays exciting word games, too. Also, Nintendo Entertainment Systems, the most exciting and challenging video game system ever developed. You'll get the control deck, two controllers, the zapper gun, and five of Nintendo's hottest products. Nick Gas is brought to you by Burton Snowboards. Why aren't you riding? Up next, it's our hidden treasure. 